Welcome everyone to another Tech Tuesday uh, with your coach, Karamoko Kane. That's me. This is the 22nd Tech Tuesday we're hosting. Um, it's been uh, going strong for a while now. Um, nice to see all of you guys uh, tonight. Let's go ahead and go through with the meeting. All right, so before every single meeting, I show this QR code and also this link I'm about to put in the chat. Um, so this link will take you to uh, the website where you can sign up to receive email notifications as far as the Monday contracts meeting, Tuesday meeting, like the one you're in right now, and the Wednesday comps meeting. And it'll have a description of what topics will be, you know, discussed, along with uh, some quick links to some great resources, including but not limited to, you know, blog articles about what we talk about, um, YouTube video recaps, you know, of the whole meeting, and a bunch of other cool information, and our contact info also in case you need to book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me or the other coaches. Okay, so the link is in the chat. You can either scan the QR code here, click the link in the chat, or email me to my email down below. And um, I will also reiterate this at the end of the meeting or maybe some at some point throughout. Okay. Uh, all right. So before we get started, let me move myself here. Uh, you can ask me questions uh, by unmuting yourself or preferably raise your hand. Uh, if you know how to do that on the Zoom dashboard, you can raise your hand and I will call on you to answer whatever question you do have. Um, make sure to participate by providing feedback through polls. Uh, I put up on the screen, uh, typically during the uh, at the beginning of these meetings or sometimes throughout. I want to get into doing more of that because I've, I'm getting a lot of great feedback from you guys uh, after the meetings telling me that you like that um, feature. So I'll be doing more of that in this meeting and the ones that are upcoming. And all of these meetings are recorded. You can rewatch them at any time on YouTube if you can't attend or would like to review uh, it at your own pace, okay? So you can subscribe to that YouTube channel uh, when you get a chance to see all of the backlog of meetings we've done before and catch up on everything we've talked about because we get new people all the time and um, that could be a great, great resource for you to uh, catch up to the stuff we talked about, okay? So, uh, and also to get to that YouTube channel by signing up to that website, I... I have in the chat or by scanning this QR code, you will be sent to the resource with all of those links. And we'll take a look at that briefly together for uh, 30 seconds there. All right, so here's a quick poll. I'm gonna put this up on the screen. Let's see. Do I have one for today? I do not have a poll at the moment. Cool. So we will actually use another Tech Tuesdays poll just to make sure. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this on the screen. Just a fun thing I like to do before these meetings um, to break the ice, get you guys comfortable asking questions. What kind of music um, would you choose to listen to for the rest of your life if you had to pick one genre? Okay, so while you guys are answering that, I'm going to go to the next slide here. <clears throat> All right, looks like most of you guys can see this. I see answers coming in. Perfect. All right. We got classical music in the lead. Interesting. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. That's cool. I don't listen to much classical music, but it looks like uh, two out of the five of us, uh, excluding me, <laughs> prefer classical. That's cool. All right. Classical it is for next uh, music. 
So previous topic, this is what we talked about last Tuesday. We talked about how to leverage smart campaigns to nurture your sphere of influence. Okay, this was a very um, resourceful meeting. Uh, I walked you guys through what exactly smart campaigns are, how to create them, and how to assign them to the contacts in your database. Okay, there was a lot of great information, and I went over a lot of great questions in that meeting. Of course, it was also recorded, so you can always go back and uh, rewatch that. Ask me any questions, email me any questions, call or text me or book a one-on-one -on -one if you need more assistance with uh, setting up smart campaigns, because I think they are arguably the most important feature uh, that comes with KV Core. Because at the end of the day, you're using all these programs to make your life easier and much, you know, uh, more. Um, you want to be much more efficient and effective in your marketing strategy. So by leveraging smart campaigns, you're essentially giving a lot of that workload to KV Core or whatever CRM you use to, you know, send out emails, text messages, um, search alerts, or marketing market reports. A lot of cool stuff. So I strongly recommend um, learning about these through the video uh, we, uh, the, the old meeting we had that was recorded. Okay. Welcome Sumati, nice to see you. All right. So today's topic, we're gonna be talking about um, landing pages and how they can help you uh, generate leads, okay? That's turning website visitors into um, you know, leads, having them provide you with their email information, their phone number. So that's how landing pages can help you. And we'll be talking about that tonight, okay? Really fun stuff. So quick announcements before we get into things. I started posting shorter form videos of the things we talk about on these meetings. Uh, I started that with the previous one. Um, so that way you don't have to sit through an hour and a half long live stream. Uh, you can get a more condensed straight to the point video now about the topics we talk about. Okay, so this one being um, how to um, the power of smart campaigns uh, to be successful in real estate. I'm just going to play 30 seconds of this just so you kind of see what that looks like. Ones that you, sort of how do you use KV Core smart campaigns to stay in touch with your sphere of influence, aka your friends, family, colleagues, or you know, people you've had interactions with in the past? Today, we're going to be talking about how to use KV Core smart campaigns to keep in touch with those people. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what smart campaigns are. You'll know how to create a smart campaign and also how to assign it to different contacts in your database, either manually or automatically. So stay tuned and let's get through this together. Before we. All right. So that's kind of uh, the new direction I'm taking with these trainings. It's much more one on one, hands on, uh, much clearer. So when you go to the YouTube channel, you can start rewatching these and. Um, uh, get your training on. This is free. You can watch this at 3 a.m. if you can't sleep. So yeah, <laughs> what better things to do, right? Thank you so much, uh, whoever put that comment in there. Thank you, Selena. All right. So let's get started. So let me get rid of all these uh, little boxes here. So what are landing pages exactly, okay? And I understand all of us are at different levels when it comes to tech. Some of us are super savvy. You use these on a daily basis. Uh, some of us are not so great at using technology and don't know some of these terms and what some of these uh, you know, things do. So I like to be start things from a very basic um, points so that you can know exactly what these things are and how they can help you generate some business and be more effective and more efficient as a real estate agent. So what are landing pages exactly? So a landing page is a page on your website that is designed to convert visitors into leads. Okay, so you're going to get people clicking up through your website, they can find it through maybe social media. Maybe you have it in your bio. Maybe you have it, you know, you just directly give it to someone. So when people visit your website, they can, you know, start looking at properties, doing a whole bunch of things. 
But if you don't have a system in place for them to actually type in their information so you can get back to them later, you kind of have that website up for nothing, okay? Because you're not getting any value out of it. People can go on there and get what they need, but it needs to be a fair exchange for you providing that value to them. So that's where a landing page comes in. So you can have a page dedicated to, you know, collecting people's information when they go onto your website. So simply put, a landing page is any page that has a form on it and doesn't include other distractions. So that being, if you go on a web page on your website, that page should only have a form and maybe information about what people will get when they sign up through that form. It's not going to have any other distractions like, you know, other pages, other links on there to get them to other places. Um, you know, they can't scroll very far. Everything on that page is just designed to show them, hey, if you put your information in here, if you put your email and phone number in here and click submit, this is the information you'll get. So you're not talking about anything else at all. It's a straight to the point page just designed to collect leads. So that is what a landing page is, okay? So a landing page by itself is not a website. It's just a section of your website that's just designed to get people to sign up or just leave. So they have only those two options, okay? Uh, let's see. How do we create landing pages? That's a very good question, and we're about to get into that right now. I'll go through step by step. I encourage uh, as many questions as possible. There are no basic questions, all questions welcome. We can be as start as basic as possible because the goal is to um, get you guys comfortable with making these and utilizing them to generate more business and more leads. Okay, so great question, Selena. So how do landing pages work exactly? So this is kind of the basic step-by-step -step as far as how these things actually work. So number one, a person sees a call to action and ends up on a landing page with a form. So what this means is the initial step is someone's going to start, you know, a search maybe on Google, uh, best homes in Torrance, you know, most expensive home in Gardena or affordable homes in XYZ city. Someone's going to start looking for something and maybe see your website on, you know, on the search results, or maybe they're scrolling through um, Facebook, and they happen to see one of your posts where you have your website on there. And it says, click here to, you know, start your property search today and become a homeowner. So they're going to click onto your website. And that's going to be the first step in, you know, this landing page actually taking effect. So that's step number one. Person sees a call to action, call to action being, hey, click here to get this, and then they're going to take that action and then end up on your landing page, which, as we talked about, is just designed to have a form on there where people can type in their information, submit, and then end up in your database, okay? So that's step number one. Step number two is the person is going to fill out the form, and that's going to uh, convert them from a visitor into a lead. Because remember, you can have a link to your website. That's fine. People are going to go on there, do their property search, home evaluation, and all that fun stuff. But if there's no way for you to actually capture their email or phone number, then there basically isn't a real point, you know, in you having a website because it's just there in the ether for people to do whatever they want and you not collecting any leads from it, okay? So step two is they fill out the form and that's arguably the most important part because that's where you're converting them from just a visitor, a looky looker into a, you know, a lead, someone you can follow up with. Okay. So then number three, the information from uh, the form is then stored onto your database. This happens automatically. Once someone fills out that form with their info, they will end up on your KB core dashboard and you'll get notified. It'll say, Hey, such and such just filled out this form. You got a brand new lead. And from that point on, you can do a lot of cool stuff with smart campaigns, you know, enroll them in a smart campaign so KV Core can follow up with them for you. Uh, we're not going to dive too deep into that as we talked about it last time, but it's definitely a topic I want to have be, you know, a recurring thing because smart campaigns are also extremely important. So um, let's see here. Number four, you market to the contact or lead based on what you know about them. 
so number four, basically all this says, means is um, once they fill out that form, they're part of your database. Now it's on you to start taking action and nurturing that lead. So you can have that be done automatically through smart campaigns, or once you see the notification, you can then manually open up that lead and start communicating with them, whether that be through an initial phone call, initial text message, initial email, then you know you kind of go about it as you normally would with any new leads you have. And follow-up is extremely important because some people can have number one, number two, and number three down packed. They're collecting a lot of leads. But if you don't follow up with those people, then you're wasting all of that effort essentially because then they're not turning from uh, leads to close you know, clients. So you want to make sure your follow-up game is also on point there, okay? So by mastering these four things, um, you'll make collecting leads and nurturing them a breeze, okay? So landing page is a great starting point. Once you have that, you have the platform set up for them to actually fill out the information. So that's how landing pages work. Um, any questions on anything I said so far before we move forward? And we're going to build these together in just a moment. I just want to give you the backstory as far as what they are and how they work. Looks like we're good so far. Awesome. Let me see here. Thank you, Laura. One second here. Let's see. All right, next slide. So also very quickly, let's move this to the side. So how do you get people to the landing page? Okay, which is also a very important question. You can create a landing page, have it look beautiful, have all your you know input fields, email, phone number, have a great image on the landing page and whatnot. But you can do all that, but you still need a way for people to get to the landing page, okay? So here are different methods you can utilize to actually get people to visit your landing page. It can be through a QR code. So you can create QR codes that take them, uh, you know, that take people to a landing page. This QR code can be on your um, open house sign, your for sale sign. I personally put try to put QR codes everywhere. I have QR codes on my uh, open house signs. So when people are, you know, trying to find my open house, they see a QR code on there. And when they scan it, they get taken to a page where they can put their information to a landing page where they can fill out their information, put their email, phone number, and receive more information about the property. Or that could be just taking them to my website. This QR code could take them to a home valuation link. So just that sign being out there is free advertisement, just a billboard for you where people can fill out their information, which is a great idea in itself. You can do so much with QR codes. So also, I have them on my, my business card. So whenever you give them out to people, you see a QR code. Sometimes you're curious. You just want to scan it and kind of see where it takes you. So all of that is free traffic uh, to your website, uh, which could be on a landing page. Let's see. Question from uh, Selena. Do we pay extra for those QR codes? No, you do not have to pay for QR codes. There are services out there that will charge you for QR codes, but you can use... Um, Canva, which is also something, a, a piece of software we talked about, I think two Tech Tuesdays ago, uh, you can create QR codes with Canva that takes people to any links and it's absolutely free. You can print this out, put it on a paper. You can just you know screenshot the QR code and, and put it on a business card. So yeah, long story short, QR codes are free. There's a bunch of resources out there for you to create these. And if you need, uh, if you're interested in that, you, Selena, or anyone else, you can always contact me. I'll point you in the right direction, or I can even make one for you, uh, as, as many as you want. But they are free to make, okay? But you can implement them in interesting, fun ways, too. So, yeah. So if you guys want to talk about that, you can reach out to me. But that's one cool, out-of-the-box way to use them. Uh, you can put QR codes on social media. You know, you could do that. Uh, you can put them on your link tree. I suggest all of you guys in here build a link tree. Um, you 
I don't know if all of us know what a link tree is, but it's basically a website uh, where when people go to that website, they get to see all of your other links. So it's one link that stores all of your other links. So when people ask you for your YouTube channel, your TikTok, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your website, your you know a property market report link, you can just give them that single link tree link. And when they get there, they'll see all of those other links listed. So it's a really neat way to organize all of your um, links. And this is also a free piece of software you can set up today in like 10 minutes. I also did a video about that available on the YouTube channel. So if you want to talk about that, you can always reach out to me and have that set up uh, properly. So you can use Linktree, put your landing page link on your Linktree, put it on social media, put it on the QR code. If you run Facebook ads, Google ads, or any paid ads, obviously you can have that link take whatever link you have as your call to action, take them to the landing page, which is a method I utilize because I do a lot of online lead generation. Just 15 minutes ago, I had you know someone from a Google ad click through my landing page and I just got an email saying, hey, new lead, you know, and then you just follow up from there. You could do email marketing too, okay? So this is just you blasting maybe newsletters or tips on home ownership or how to, before you buy a home, a lot of great things. You can have little links in your email marketing. Um, oh, well, this one's supposed to represent physical mail. So if you want to send physical mail out there, maybe postcards, you can put them on there. And if you want to do uh, actual emails, then that's also a thing. And there's probably a myriad of other methods out there. You can even put a QR code on your car, you know, wrap your car, put a nice photo of you on there, put a QR code. <laughs> so wherever you go, people will scan it while they're driving. Not safe, but hey, free advertisements. Cool, cool. So that's, those are all the ways you can get people to um, uh, visit your landing page. Okay, very creative and fun and free ways, except the Google ads, you gotta pay for that, but uh, hopefully you get the point. So by the end of today's meeting, um, you will understand what landing pages are. That's basically what we just went through. Hopefully that made uh, some sense. Uh, how to build a landing page, that's what we're about to get to. How to get people to the landing page, we've already just covered that. And uh, if we have some time, I'll also share with you methods I use when someone signs up on my landing page, what I start doing after that. So how do I nurture those leads through smart campaigns? Uh, how fast do I call them, text them, email them? All of that great stuff. If we have time, I'll go over that too. But that kind of leads into smart campaigns again. Okay. And uh, if you guys have any questions, we could go that uh, in that direction also. So before we get started, I uh, have a little poll here. If you guys have any questions, let me know now. Or if you want to just type it, um, this is a little anonymous little poll I made. If you have any questions, you could type it in there. I can answer that right now. I won't know it's you. <laughs> or you can unmute yourself and ask me anything before we start building. I was just wondering. Yeah. Uh, through the, um, what do you call it? Uh, KB Corp. Do they yeah. have uh, Spanish websites already or we have to create one? Do they have Spanish websites? Yeah. That is a very good question. I think I, I cut this question before. Uh, I need to talk to the KV Core team about it, but I do believe you have the option somewhere in the settings to switch it to Spanish or at least add a Spanish extension to it. Okay. okay. Um, but I will try and find the answer. Uh, let me put a note on there, actually, and I might okay. reach out to you with that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, you would think so because that's very important. A Spanish website. Okay, so anybody else has any questions? You could type it in, uh, or you can unmute yourself or raise your hand. I'll give it another five seconds. Spanish website. All right, I guess we're all looking good so far. Eager to build one together. Okay, so I'm going to click end poll.
and let's get started. Okay. So by the way, the website I put in the chat, this is what that looks like. Once you get to the website, um, you can RSVP for all the trainings we do. This one included. This is the one going on right now. Uh, you can put your email there. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can click on book now through the website right here. It will take you to a calendar. You can choose exactly what time and date you want to have that one-on-one -on -one with me. It's absolutely free. Uh, I do these all the time. Everyone's always um, uh, telling me great things. So they're, they're getting a lot of value out of it. So I'm, I'm loving that. You can access the YouTube channel through here and also a Facebook group I'm working on for all of us to get on there and share uh, ideas and whatnot. And this is the YouTube channel. It's about time Ooh. you found. You can find all those videos here that I'm talking about. Okay. If you go on YouTube and you click the videos tab, you can see a wide, expensive library of videos of me talking about stuff like this. Okay. So that's there. Little blog articles and Instagram XYZ. Okay. So now let's get to KB Core. <clears throat> So before we actually get started here, let me do something real quick. Cool. Let's close this. All right, so when you log on to KV Core, this is the screen uh, you will, oh, let me make myself smaller. So when you log on to your KV Core, you get greeted with this dashboard right here. It's gonna highlight dashboard at the top left. If you don't see this menu side on the left-hand side of your KV Core, it's probably because the menu is uh, collapsed, okay? So you would wanna press the three bars at the top left to expand and actually see um, these menu options in more detail, okay? So when you log on to KV Core, first thing you see is the dashboard. This dashboard just is like your newspaper, if you will. It'll show you everything that's been going on. Uh, this is actually that lead I was talking about. So this person, I generated this lead through uh, Google advertising. And whenever someone signs up through your landing page, they will pop up here as well as all the other methods, but they will pop up here. It'll tell you what listings they viewed from what device, you know, is it a computer they were doing this from, a phone? how long ago, their name, and you know all the cool details. And through here, you can just click email to email them. You can call them from here, send them a video, send them a text. And um, yeah, you can scroll through here and just see all the people that are clicking on your website. It's really cool stuff here. So kind of like a daily newspaper. You get to see everything that's going on. Um, do I pay a lot for Google ads? So Google ads are, everyone's budget is different. The more money you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. But there's a lot of setup that goes behind the scenes, obviously, to target specific locations, to, um, you know, target specific demographics. Uh, you need to make sure you have the right keywords for what people are looking for. Um, there's no right or wrong amount of money to start with is just more so Google works on a click by click basis. So when people click on your link to get to your website, it's going to cost you a certain amount. And if you're targeting popular cities, there's more competition. So maybe if you're trying to advertise in Los Angeles, like everyone, everyone else might be, you might be uh, paying $10 for every click to your website. So if you have a daily budget, because Google works in terms of daily budgets, how much money do you want to spend per day? So if I had a budget of $100 every single day, which is a lot, I would get 10 clicks to my website, basically, because every click cost me roughly $10. But if I target an area that's not so competitive, maybe every click costs, um, you know, a dollar, you know, or 50 cents, 75 cents, which is realistic. There's plenty of cities that are less competitive. So you might get, um, you know, you might get more clicks, but for an area that has less competition, but then the price range in that area might be very low, or maybe that area is too far. So there's a lot of factors that go into it, but it works on a, how much does this city cost to advertise in and how much can I spend 
you know, how many clicks do I want, if that makes sense. But that's a whole different topic, but I just wanted to give you some uh, type of answer to your question, Selena. Okay. Uh, hopefully that made some sense. So right here is your dashboard where you get to see everything that's been going on. You can uh, uh, filter through just new leads that came in. Uh, so if I click on new leads, you can see all these leads are just new leads that came through the system. You can new text people who are texting you, new emails, hot leads. These are people who are interacting with your website a lot. Properties, uh, X, Y, Z, pro what properties are people looking at on your website? Uh, cool stuff, okay? But today's focus is going to be on landing pages. And to find landing pages, we will go to the um, lead engine. Okay, the lead engine tab is where you're going to build landing pages. So I can actually click on lead engine and it'll take me right here. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so when you click on lead engine, it'll open up this window. And through this window right here, you will see landing page as the first uh, option right here in this box. And there's plenty of other cool stuff you could do here. I think we talked about most of these in previous Tech Tuesdays, landing pages included, uh, but today we're just gonna focus on landing pages. So if I click on the, if I go to the landing page box right here, uh, you can click on here in the, the field that says, please select a domain. So what this means is if you're working on, in a team, maybe you have a dedicated team website through eXp. But if you're working solo as a solo agent, you're only going to see one link here, okay? So if I was in a team, uh, maybe the team was uh, Laura and Kane, uh, the Laura and Kane team, because we're teaming up, to, you know, as an actual team in EXP to do business. So KV Core will have a dedicated domain to that team uh, built for us. So there would have been another website on this dropdown that'll say, you know, maybe Laura and Kane.exprealty.com. And I can build this landing page on that website. But if you're still, if you're in a team, you can also choose to just display this on your personal website. So it would just be your name, that exprealty.com. Okay, but if you're a solo agent, I think, which is probably 85, 99%, somewhere in between there of us, uh, you're only going to see one link, and that's going to be the link to your personal KV Core website. So this is what this field means, and th that's what you're choosing here. Okay. So what website are you building this landing page on? So if I click here, you can select that website. For most of us, it's just going to be that one link. And uh, once it's selected, it'll be highlighted as such. Um, and then once it is, you can click Start Building. Okay. So when you click Start Building, it'll open up. Uh, let me close this and do it again. Sometimes it loads for a bit. So if I click Start Building, it'll have this orange bar go across the top there. Gonna let it. You gotta let it load until that goes away. Let me give it a few seconds here. Any questions so far? You can raise your hands, unmute yourselves, let me know. <clears throat> Give that a... I'm sorry, I'm asking so many questions. No, please do. What is it? But this dashboard, so I'm very... Uh... I, I really don't don't like all this. Um, I mean, it's a lot of information. Um, anyways, I wanted to ask about this dashboard. Is that something we have to create? Like all that contact that you had in there, that's your inform information that you have created? Uh, the contacts on my dashboard. So this is going to be um, basically everyone interacting on your website, everyone that's calling your smart number, everyone that's texting your smart number everyone emailing you to whatever email you have associated with KV Core, that's what's going to pop up here. So if someone through the Google ads clicks on my website and signs up, it'll have a box for that person, such and such person signed up two hours ago. So this just shows you what's been going on. So obviously, if you don't use KV Core and you don't use your KV Core smart number, 
or you don't use the email that, um, or you don't have the, your work email linked to KV Core, nothing will populate here because there's nothing for KV Core to track. Okay. So, yes, in part, this is something that oh, looks like someone's joining here. So, yes, this is something that um, you kind of have to trigger, you know, get the ball rolling, share your links to people. Uh, give your smart number to people, get people to email you, then it's going to start making stuff happen here for you. Does does that answer your question, maybe? More like uh, these pictures, are these your listings? What is, oh. what is this? No, these are um, the photos of the properties of what people are looking at on the website. So Robert Moreno here, you know, signed up on my landing page and then started looking at this property. So I can see what that person was looking at. So now when it's time to call Roberto, I can say, hey, Roberto, I see you looked at 7007 Golden Vale Drive in Riverside. Were you interested in that property? Do you want to do a showing there? So this just shows me what they've been looking at. So is that your listing? No, no, no that's not my listing. That's just him searching a property on my website. Oh, did did okay. I answer your question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make more sense right now. Okay. Okay. Look at this. So if I go to my EXP website, right? And all of us have this as a EXP agents. So if I go here and let's say I look for a house in Los Angeles, I just type in Los Angeles, I press search. Imagine I'm Roberto, the person I just signed up. So if Roberto clicks on this property here in Beverly Hills and clicks view details, that he just did right there, KV Core will know that he looked at this property. Now on the back end, on my dashboard, I'm gonna get a new box that'll say Roberto Moreno clicked, you know, viewed listing and it's gonna be whatever he clicked on. So your website will not show just your listings, it'll show all of the listings on the MLS, okay? But you kind of see ahead of time what they're looking at, what kind of properties they're looking for, what areas they're looking at, what price range, how many beds and bath, and you can utilize that information when you reach out to them and start a conversation, you can say, hey, I see you looked at this property listed by Aaron Kirkman with AKGRE Inc. at you know in Beverly Hills for $87 million. Is there any way I can help you with that? And obviously everything is branded to me on my website. So if they wanna call anyone, the only number they will see is mine right here. Okay, so this, is what's being displayed in this box right here. So not my listings, just what they're looking at on my website. So then I would be the buyer's agent in that case, if he decides to go with me to make that purchase. Did that make a little more sense? Yeah, but how did they, how did this uh, Roberto found you, found, I mean, how did uh, you get this lead basically? Okay, so this one is through Google Ads. So I launched a Google ad and he clicked on that ad to get to my website and signed up and then saw this property on my website. This specific one, that's how um, Roberto ended up here. Okay. Okay, got there, it. Yeah, but there's other ones where, you know, I just import them maybe from my sphere of influence, you know, contacts I import from my phone. And when I send out marketing emails, there are links in there to take those people there too doesn't just have to be um, uh, Google ads. So anyone signed up on your website, could be your sister, your mom, could be your cousin, could be your colleagues, anyone that has an account on your website that does this will populate on the screen of the dashboard, okay? All right, all right. So yeah, that's how that happens. I'm gonna close this. So here we are on the landing page. And again, I'm going to close this. So to get to the landing page, remember, go to lead and en lead engine. Click on, you know, the top left box. This is where you'll see landing pages. You want to click on the, the, the fields that it has on there. You'll choose your website and then you'll click on start building. Okay. Once you click start building, it'll open up a new tab. That's going to look like this. It takes like 30 seconds to load. So I already had this open. Uh, but this is what you will see. So let me get rid of this. So we're going to go through this step by step. And please, if you have any questions or if I move too fast or if you get lost, raise your hand and I'll go over that again. This is a really, really good tool. It's free of charge. 
and everyone can start utilizing this immediately. So when you uh, start building a landing page, it'll open up this new tab. It'll, you'll see the screen. So we'll go through each of these fields. I'm gonna explain to you in detail what each and every single field means and uh, what you should put on there. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top left. So right here, you have a drop down that asks you what type of landing page are you trying to build? Because there's more than one type of landing page. Okay, but the concept behind all of them are just the same. It's just a page designed to turn visitors into uh, leads. Okay, so the generic one, which is what I recommend most of you guys use, because uh, the other ones are going to be a little more niche for specific, um, uh, for different types of objectives. But lead generation is the, the preset, the standard that's going to be on there for you. Um, so that's the one that's going to be selected by default. So if I was to choose on video view, for example, okay, that's going to change up the landing page a little bit. If you notice, this little video appeared at the bottom. So what this means is now we're building a landing page with the objective for people to view a video. So maybe your objective is not to start generating or to uh, collect people's information. Maybe you just want to show them a video. Well, you can have a video on here for anyone that clicks on your landing page link. And then there's other themes out there. There's video plus lead. So if I click on that one, as you can see here, not only is there the video box now, but there's also a lead um, form uh, section. So if you have a video of whatever it is you're trying to offer through this landing page, you can put that video here. So for example, just to paint a, a, a more colorful picture, maybe this landing page is about uh, you providing five amazing tips for first time home buyers and all of the great programs they can utilize to you know, become homeowners. So when they get to this landing page, uh, you can edit all of the text here. So you could say, I can highlight this, okay? Very customizable, top five, tips for, uh, let's not even do top five. Let's just do tips for first time home buyers. Okay. And then you can add, you know, a little subheading here, uh, sign up to receive, you know, whatever, sign up to receive the top tips for home buyers uh, below. And then you can have some key points here. You can, you don't have to fill these out. Say, for instance, I only wanted two key points. All you have to do is double click on the elements and that just goes away. Or I encourage you to put as much information as possible. But when you double click on anything, it, it goes away. So um, maybe we could put something like, um, I don't know, receive weekly uh, 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 tips that will you know help you become a a more informed home buyer and you can have a little description of that that key point here you know if we whatever here and then you can have a second point uh live mls uh updates or whatever and you can put more information about that down here okay so you can write out everything you're offering to the visitor here to to show them the value you provide so when people click on this link, they'll see, hey, EXP Realty, here are tips for first time home buyers, sign up to, uh, oh, my spelling is not on point today. Sign up to, you know, receive uh, tips or whatever you're offering here. And then down here, you can also attach a video. This is something you can record on your phone or camera, whatever you have. And you can explain yourself further, you know, through this video here. So you could, it could just be a sit down video like I am right now, just going through what you'll be offering when they sign up down below. It could be like a 15 second video, okay? And then, um, yeah, and then down below, they once they read the information up here, they watch your video here, they kind of know what you're trying to offer. And at that point, right below, they have a call to action. So you've seen all of this, you read all of this, you've seen my video. Now, are you interested in my service? If so, put your email and phone number below and then click this button to access that information. 
Okay, so that's how landing pages are structured. So you have different kinds here. There's a text lead. So this one will have the same info, but instead of a field, uh, you know, lead form, it's going to have, you know, text, whatever, whatever to my number to receive a piece of information. Okay, so this is a lot of info here, but we're going to stick to the lead generation one because this is the one that's going to be the most versatile. And as realtors, all we want is a cell phone and an email so we can put you on a marketing campaign. And we also have your phone to call you and see if you're in the market to buy or sell. Okay, so this, this is arguably going to be your primary objective and then the rest can come later. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to focus on today. And this is what you will see initially when you start building a, a landing page. So that's what this section refers to. Right under that, you have a little button here, a little checkbox that says light team, a theme. So if I check this, this just kind of changes the background to make it light or dark. That's it. So you can customize that there. So I'm going to check it. I think it looks good uh, light. You can kind of see the text a little better. And uh, oh, also down here, you can customize this text. Right now it says, if you enter your cell number, uh, we promise to only send you interesting, relevant real estate information. You can reply stop at any time if you don't like what we're sending. So if you want to customize this message, you are free to do so. Um, if you like it, you can leave it. If you don't, if you want to take it off altogether, remember you can double click. Um, oh, actually, I guess not this section just the others so i could double click on these to make them go away but not this one so you're gonna have to change this up or just maybe delete everything yeah that works too or you could fill it out again there you go so uh, that's what light theme does it's gonna make the background lighter or darker next up we have a field called hashtag and it says that it's optional even though this says optional i urge everyone building a smart campaign to just put a hashtag in here and for those of you guys who don't know what hashtags are, hashtags are basically a tag that's put onto whatever contact fills this form. So you can have a list of a thousand contacts in your database, but you need a way to sort through them because not every lead is, you know, has the same objective. Not every lead is the same. Some of them want to sell, some of them want to buy. Even through, if you filter through the buyers themselves, some of them are first time home buyers, some of them are FHA buyers, some of them are conventional buyers, some of them are long term buyers, short term buyers. There's so many different ways you can categorize leads. Utilizing hashtags to differentiate between all of those leads is going to be very, very important because you can market to those specific groups differently to get the most uh, optimal impact. Because if your marketing is is designed to appeal to everyone, it's not going to make as much of an impact as you building specific marketing campaigns for each and every you know individual group. A message that speaks to FHA buyers will resonate much more than a message to every single buyer with a generic message, because then they feel less. Um, connected it resonates less with them but when you speak in terms of what their situation are directly you have a higher likelihood to get that message read and whatever action you want them to take there's a higher likelihood of them taking that action okay so through this box right here hashtag so if this going with this example here tips for first-time home buyers you could put a hashtag that says first-time home buyer First time home buyer. Now, whenever someone comes on this landing page, fills out their information and submits it, when they get added to the database, to my KV Core you know, uh, contacts list and they become a lead, if I go into their contact, they will have this hashtag um, attributed to them. Okay, and I'll, I'll open that up so you can see what that looks like on the back end too. But now, anytime you want to go back and see a list of only first time home buyers on the KV Core CRM side of things, you can filter using hashtags. So you can search only first time home buyers, and then whoever fills this out will pop up on that list. Okay. Uh, so that's what hashtags are just a way to 
filter to or, or, or categorize the types of leads or contacts you have in your system. Then the next box, this is the easiest one actually, submit button text. So uh, this is basically whatever you put in here is what's going to be written on the button you see down here, okay? So let's say for this example, we're providing tips for first time home buyers. Maybe we want this button to say, see all the tips, you know? So I could put see all tips now in the exclamation mark. So see down here, when I wrote this at the in this field right here, it's gonna change the button to reflect that. So you could put something that relates to what you're trying to offer or sell or what service you're trying to provide. Okay, you could change this to view now, you know, anything you feel is uh, relevant for what you're offering. And then next up, this is a very important field, URL after login. So you're, you can be providing a lot of different things through this landing page. It could be top five homes, best homes in this city, uh, um, tips for home buyers, tips for sellers. It, uh, it could be anything you're offering through this landing page. But once they fill it out and they click on view now, whatever link you put in here is where they will be taken to. So let's say uh, I'm gonna open up my website here. So I'll show you a real world use case for this. Uh, there it is. So I'm gonna open up my website, agents.com. I'm going to scroll all the way down to one of the blog articles I posted the other day. I think there's one about, uh, no, actually, this is the wrong website. Okay, so if I go to my website, I have a link here, maybe renting versus buying a home. So I'm going to click on this article that I posted uh, last year. And I'm going to copy the link here on the dashboard. I'll go back to my landing page and I'm going to paste that link in here. So basically, when people fill out this form and they click view now, whatever I put in this field right here is where they will be taken to. So again, it says URL after login. So what URL are people getting taken to when they click view now? I'm going to paste this in here so then they will be taken to that article that I, I wrote, okay? It's not five tips for home buyers, but you get the point. This is just where to get taken. So that's what that means. Next up, we have a checkbox that says require phone. So as is right now, people are able to come in here, type up, uh, you know, an email, something, something at, you know, maybe gmail.com. Um, and then they can put their phone number, but it says optional in here. Okay, so they can just log on to your website solely through email, click view now, and that would be fine. But the only piece of information you would have is an email. If you want a phone number, you can check the box right here that says require phone. So if I check this, the optional little optional message in parentheses goes away. So people will not be able to just only provide an email address. They will have to also put a cell phone number in order to click the view now button or the submit button. Okay, but if I have this unchecked, it doesn't mean they can't put a phone number, they can. However, they'll see that it's optional and they might not put it in there, okay? So if, you're, if you mainly want emails because you see yourself doing more email lead generation by through newsletters or whatnot and phone numbers are not as important to you, you can leave that unchecked, okay? So that way it's not mandatory. And it might not, you know, scare some people away. Because when people see an email and then a phone number, oh, I got to give my phone number too. It might make them, you know, think twice about filling in the form. But if you know you absolutely want to collect phone numbers, you can check this box so that every single lead that signs up here, you'll have an email and a phone number. So you can call them, you can text them, and you can email them. So... This is what this box does right here. So we're just gonna leave it checked for the purpose of this example. So that means they have to put an email and they have to put a phone number before they can do anything. Okay, next up, this is one of the fun 
fields background. So this drop down right here, if I click on it, I can choose a variety of um, different backgrounds. So if I click on lady, that's the one it's on right now. Okay. So I guess that's referring to this lady in the, the wallpaper. If I go to exterior, it's going to change it to that wallpaper. Uh, we could choose living room. I really like this one. Uh, golf senior. <laughs> so if you're doing something for seniors, I don't know, you can put that on there. Um, garden shed. Uh, there you go. It's kind of cool. And remember, you can check the light theme to kind of, you know, make it light or dark, so, which is really cool. You can't change the fonts. You cannot change the color of the text. Unfortunately, you don't have that functionality here, but um, you can change the background and how light or dark the background is. Okay, so you have a lot of different um, uh, things you can choose from here. One of them actually is a moving, uh, is a video. I think new construction. If I click on new construction, it's going to have this in the back, which is pretty cool. And if you look all the way down, uh, you can choose your own custom background. If I click on that, it's going to ask you for a link to that image. Okay. So once you put the link to that image there, it will pull the image from that link and display it on here. I don't use uh, that feature too much. I don't think it, it matters a lot unless you really want to emphasize that wallpaper then you can upload that photo on Google or something and then put the link to it here. Okay, but that's only if you want a custom background. And uh, yeah, you could choose through a variety of different things here. And then right next to that, we have lead type, okay? So whatever you choose in here will not affect the landing page at all. This just kind of tells KV Core, what kind of lead are you designing this landing page for? Is it a buyer? Is it a seller, a renter, an agent, a vendor, or just anyone? And it really doesn't matter. And then you can put none. But going based off of our example, I'm clearly targeting buyers, you know, first time home buyers. So I'm going to tell KV Core the type of lead is going to be buyer. So whenever anyone signs up here through this landing page and they get added to my database, I will be able to sort them as you know buyers and I can sort them even more specifically through the hashtag first time home buyer okay so now they fall in two different lead pools I can send something to every buyer if it applies to them or if I only want to send something to first time home buyers I can just select or filter through uh, them using the hashtag instead so that's why why hashtags are very important okay and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it once you put all those, uh, that information in there and you're happy with your landing page, you can click the save button, okay? So before I click save, uh, we're pretty much done, but before I click save, I wanna show you guys where you can see the hashtags and also where you can see what type of lead um, that person is, okay? So I'm gonna go to my KV Core dashboard. So I'm gonna go back here, click on dashboard. And we're going to select uh, one of the leads here I generated, uh, someone who's uh, very popular on the website. Let's see. Looks like Robin Jones. Robin Jones is a lead I generated also. And uh, they have been looking at a ton of different properties on the website. And I can even scroll through them right here. Okay. So Robin Jones uh, was generated through Google Ads also. And as you can see, when they got added to my system, if I go here on the left-hand side, right under the name, if I scroll here, there will be a hashtag section, as you can see right here, okay? So the hashtags you see down here, Google Ads and then FRK Leads. Uh, I added FRK Leads myself, but Google Ads is the hashtag I wrote on here, this field right here. So if Robin Jones was to sign up on my website through this landing page, instead of Google ads being the hashtag you see under here, it'll say first time home buyer. So now if I want to sort through all of the first time home buyers on my database, I can search through that hashtag. Okay. This is where hashtags come in and they're very, very important. 
And if we go all the way up, and I, I'm going to go back here, this field where it's asking us for, uh, you know, lead type, and we chose buyer. Oop, let me zoom out here. So buyer. So anyone that signs up through here will be classified as a buyer. Okay, so if I go back to KV Core here, the place you can see that is going to be also right here, right under their name. So by default, they will be highlighted as a buyer. Okay, that's also another way I can sort through clients. So uh, let's close this, close that. There we go. So this is the whole process from scratch to finishing building a whole full-fledged landing page. We selected uh, our objective, which is lead generation. We have a hashtag in there. Anyone that signs up is gonna have the first time home buyer hashtag. The button, so this, whatever you put on this field right here is going to be what you see on the button, okay? So if I type view now, it's gonna say view now on the button. Next up, we have the URL after uh, sign up or after login. So whatever link you put in this field, this is where they will be taken to when they click view now. And mind you, I do see that it says optional in here. I would not leave it blank because if you leave it blank, they will be taken to your website homepage and there's no information there for them to see. I mean, granted, they would have already filled this out to get taken to your website, which is fine actually, but landing pages are going to be more successful when you give them the information that you're promising on the um, the landing page. So if it says tips for first-time home buyers, they put their email, cell phone, and then they get taken to my homepage and they don't see any of that information, then you know they signed up and didn't receive what they signed up for. So they're more likely to just unsubscribe from any future mails you send or, or whatever. But um, if you word it in a different way, you know, subscribe to my newsletter, then maybe they're not expecting an email right away and you can still leave this blank. They'll be taken to your homepage and then now they can maybe start a search, but now they expect you to be sending them, you know, newsletters every week, every month, however much time uh, intervals you want to set in between that. But if you have specific things you want to offer, like a market report, tips, you know, or or a home valuation, you can put those links in here so that they get taken to those resources as soon as they sign up. Okay. Next up, require phone, very self-explanatory. If it's unchecked, they don't have to give a phone number. If it's checked, they have to give a phone number. Um, next is the background. You can choose what background you want on here. I'm gonna leave the kitchen. And then the type of lead, buyer, seller, agents, X, Y, Z. If everything looks good, you can click the save button. Once you click save, do I have a question? Uh, I thought I heard someone. Cool, okay. Um, if everything looks good, you can click the save button right here. And once you click save, you'll see this little pop-up, okay? This is what it says. Uh, I can't zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see this. So once you save this page, you will not be able to edit it. So if you want to make any changes, you would have to build this another landing page from scratch. Okay, that's very important to know. So once you make this, that's it for that. So if you need to do any tweaks, you're essentially building a new landing page with those changes. Okay. Um, but yeah. So you can bookmark the link to it and you can, uh, uh, I'll, I'll also show you how to find your older landing pages in case you lose the link to it, okay? So once you're okay with that, you could click okay. KV Core will refresh the page and then actually take you to the landing page. So as you can see, this is what people will, you know, see when they click on your link. So at this point, you can go ahead and just copy the link you see in the address bar, or you'll know it's successfully saved when you see the green share icon at the top left right there. So that means it's live and it's ready to go, and you won't see that black bar up top that's telling you to, you know, put in the 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 information on there. You know, so that'll disappear. So this tells me it's successfully made. If I click on the share button right here 
can directly share to Facebook from here, directly share to Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Okay, if you have those uh, linked on your KV Core, it'll take you straight there where you can post this landing page. But if you want, and this is much better, you could just go on the address bar and just copy the link. Okay, just so you guys see, if I put this link in the chat, any of you guys that click on that link, you will be taken right here. Okay, the link is in the chat for anyone that wants to try. So uh, if you were to put your email, I'm just gonna put a random email in here, X, Y, Z, testing dot at gmail.com. And I'll put a random cell phone number, uh, 213-345-6789, okay? So I'm gonna put this information in here and I'll click view now and check this out. Once they click on it, they get taken to the link I put on there, the, the article on my, my other website and they can now get the information they signed up for, okay? And then mind you, on your phone, if you have notifications on, you guys probably won't see this, but it'll say new lead and it'll say, you know, the person's name, new lead notification, so you'll get a notification right away as soon as anyone signs up through your landing page. And that's your cue to start nurturing that lead and, you know, talk to them about whatever it is they signed up for. All right. So that is how to build a landing page. Now that we've built it to finish up, we're going to go back to the dashboard here. Uh, let me see. I have a question. Is there a way to fix the mobile view of the landing page or does it stay that way? The picture gets cut on the mobile version. Uh, interesting. Let me actually see what it looks like on mobile. So let me go to the landing page here. Uh, let me see. Do I have the link copied? Yes, I do. Hmm. Oh, you mean the picture being more condensed and show across the, cause I, you probably can't see it, but I can see all of the fields, which is arguably the most important thing. But if you mean the picture being smaller, no, there's no way to manipulate how the photo in the background looks, unfortunately. Uh, that is not something KV Core will let you do, but um, it will resize the text and everything on there and make sure people can clearly see where to log in and press, uh, you know, view now at, okay? So maybe if you choose the option to put your own background on there, you could put a smaller image that's, you know, will fit a, a cell phone screen, but people who click on the website and who wanna log in, in my experience, at least I've built a lot of landing pages the most important part is going to be the information you have uh, on there, okay? The most important part of a landing page is this information you wrote there. You know, tips for first-time home buyers and all of the little sections. If that looks great, if that looks like something they want to sign up for, they won't care about the background. <laughs> so I would focus on that. And uh, if you want to be, you know, build a really beautiful one, you can always put your own image on there, which is um, an option. Uh, awesome. Hopefully that answered the question. Cool. Uh, let's go back to KV Core here. Just want to show you. I'm going to refresh the page. So you will get the email immediately when someone signs up to this, but you won't necessarily see it appear on your dashboard right away. Sometimes it's quick. Oh, like this time it is quick. So if you see here, there's a new square on my website, the dashboard. It'll say XYZ testing new lead you know and because we classified it as a buyer it'll say buyer here and that was just three minutes ago and if i click on that it'll open up that person's contact information and if you check it out right here under the hashtag section this is that hashtag we built together first time home buyer so now i can always find every single first time home buyer that signed up through my landing page by filtering through the hashtag or I could just filter uh, by buyer because we also set the lead type as buyer. Okay, so you can see how building a landing page for to offer certain things can help you generate leads. Now, this person, 
will forever be in my database. I can put him on smart campaigns. I could put him on texting campaigns, uh, call him, text him or her. And uh, yeah, you know, if you didn't have a landing page, they would have just went straight to the website, seen that information and then left. They came as a visitor and left as a visitor, but the landing page will let them come as a visitor and leave as a lead. And then you can always reach out to them and close a deal at some point in the future with them. Okay, so this is landing pages for you. And uh, ooh, I forgot to show you how to see the link to it in case you lose it. If we go back to the lead engine, back to where we get to creating a landing page, you wanna select your um, uh, website again, but instead of clicking start building, we're gonna click on past landing pages. So I'm gonna click on this. This will take you to a page where it will show you all the landing pages you've built, okay? And over here, it's gonna be listed in chronological order. So this is the one we built and it uh, looks like we already got four views, probably all me, uh, but um, yeah. So you can view it here. If I click view, it'll open up a new link to it and you can copy the link or you could just copy the link straight away by clicking copy link right here. Okay, and when you copy it, you'll get a message down there that says copy to clipboard, okay? So that is how you find your old landing pages and copy the links to them. And once you have the link, you can hop on over to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, email campaigns, newsletters, QR codes, uh, the whole nine yards that we talked about before and get people to visit uh, your landing page, sign up and get that uh, uh, email and, and phone number. Okay, do we have any questions on anything, <laughs> landing page or related to or anything? This, this is great, Kane. The more and more I see it, I'm understanding it, but still I have, I'm gonna reach out to you. Um, yeah, yeah quick, sure. quick question. So are you going to, um, I know you mentioned you were gonna condense um, the videos like on YouTube and stuff. Like mm -hmm. um, what, yeah. I don't, like were you gonna make like a short, like kind of reel of, of how to do the landing page like really quick in 15, 20 minutes or is it, or, or yeah, understanding that question. or, yeah. So all of the little short videos such as the one I showed in the beginning are gonna be shorter versions of whatever Tech Tuesday we're doing. So we just did this one. You will still have access to this full live stream with you know questions from you and everyone else to listen into and chime into. But there will also be a shorter version of this of me just sitting down, doing this, talking straight to the camera without all of that. And it will be like 20 to 30 minutes. And if shorter, then that's what it is. So yes, Perfect. every Tech okay. Tuesday will have a short version. Thank okay. you. Yeah, so watch out for that. And obviously to... Um, get notified you can sign up through the website i'm gonna put it on the uh on the email again so for anyone that wants to receive those notifications you could click on the link there and sign up and um, get emails and also you could just go straight to the youtube channel uh, where you could just click subscribe there let me put that link there too so here's the YouTube channel and that link is now in the chat. So if you go to YouTube, you'll see a subscribe button where uh, on this side of the screen, you can click subscribe there and it will notify you also when I post a new video. So this is the old one uh, with smart campaigns, which is a good segue once you build a landing page, okay? So build a landing page, and then once people get signed up through that, you can attach, you know, smart campaign. So KV Core can do the follow up for you. So it's extremely hands off at that point. So I encourage you to learn about smart campaigns right after. So link to all of that is in the chat right now. Any other questions, anyone? Okay, I see you guys going on the website. <laughs> I, I'm I'm getting a lot of notifications. So. Take advantage of it, guys. Um, yeah, so that is 
pretty much it for tonight's meeting, how to build landing pages. I hope you guys were able to get a lot of value out of this. And uh, everyone's at different levels. So if you need one-on-one -on -one, um, support, any specific questions, you feel more comfortable asking you know, in a one-on-one, -on -one, you can sign up to that through the website, okay? Uh, the link to it will say, book a free training session here and we can have that together. My contact info is on the screen, email and the, the, the website. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much. Comps training tomorrow at 8 p.m. Uh, with Coach Renee. Always a fun time with him. So make sure to attend that if you have a, a chance. Uh, but yeah, if there's nothing else, you guys have a wonderful rest of your Valentine's Day. Thank you, Kane. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Have a good night.